Uh, I'm Mohamed Karakuli, professor of history and Near and Middle Eastern civilizations, and I've had the pleasure, <laughs> pleasure of working uh, with the dean and many members of uh, SBC in the past. As you have become increasingly aware in the past three months, the proposed academic plan and the hasty efforts to disestablish units that have been historically identified with an excellent humanities education at the University of Toronto has undermined the authority of the chairs and program directors. It has demoralized the faculty and has created a great deal of uncertainty amongst our students, staff, librarians, and donors, I just want to bring to your attention what has been done to my own department of NMC by undermining the authority of the chair. I'm too embarrassed to recount what has been done. As you have learned from the last town hall meeting and are also learning today, the administration's disregard for the principle of shared governance is leading to an erosion of confidence in the academic leadership of the university. In light of this unfortunate development, what are you and the provost willing to do in order to regain the confidence of the university community? Are you willing to drop the idea of establishing the School of Language, which has proved intellectually bankrupt at top institutions like Cornell and many others? Are you? Are you willing to initiate a genuine consultation that involves all stakeholders in academic departments, units, institutes, and programs? In the spirit of shared governance, are you willing to share the financial details that led you to approve a plan that has many unaccounted hidden costs and has added a crisis of confidence to the financial crisis? Thank you, Mohammed. I appreciate all of those questions and comments. Um, so I'm, ho I'm hoping that I'm conveying this afternoon, as I did on Thursday afternoon, uh, that I am seriously committed to genuine consultation of exactly the sort that you have uh, described. Um, your comments about the school, I will just say, are um, you're welcome to to your view of this, uh, I take a somewhat different view. I don't think that the uh, consensus is clear that the notion of such schools is by definition intellectually bankrupt. But it is clearly important uh, that one look at the details very carefully. Um, we know that there are other schools like Stanford that in fact have worked rather well. Uh, but each one is a little different. So uh, that said, as I said in my response to Ken uh, earlier on, um, we're quite willing uh, to move to uh, move in other directions. Indeed, if we can uh, find um, other ways to create the wherewithal that we need in order to address really pressing concerns within the faculty. So um, you know that speaks to your question about financial details. So let me just. Um, comment on that quickly. Um, we've now, in response to a popular demand, I guess, uh, put all of the series of budget memos going back to April 2008 on the Arts and Science website, the academic planning website, so that people can find these more easily. Uh, it was a little too difficult to dig them out of the CPAD archives. So that's the first thing we've done. Um, within the university system here, and, and as clearly defined in the Arts and Science Constitution as well, the dean does have both authority and responsibility for budget making and planning. That said, uh, we have had a tradition of a faculty budget committee which has been in place for 
quite a few years and continues to exist, uh, which is advisory to the dean. Uh, instructor is one that again represents all of the major uh, sectors within arts and science. It includes both undergraduate and graduate students on it. Um, it meets, well it used to meet about once a year. Since I've become dean it has met more frequently, two or three times and, and more frequently than that per year. Uh, and it will uh, be um, reconstituted this fall. Um, and one of its first tasks would be to undertake um, uh, an analysis of an update of the financial situation of the Faculty of Arts and Science, including incorporating a variety of different scenarios around academic planning. Um, and we'll be reporting on that work um, the way that we have done in the past, which is through quite detailed memos that will be shared with the faculty. Um, with respect to specific proposals, such as the School of Languages and Literature's proposal, there were several questions about this at the Town Hall on Thursday where people have been asking for more detailed information about how this proposal would save money, how much money it would save, these kinds of things. Uh, here, I think the detailed analysis of this proposal, as well as other alternatives that the language chairs come up with or other people come up with, um, that this detailed analysis will indeed be undertaken, where we will put figures on the table uh, to inform that process, working with the leadership of the various different units.